Well, here we are in the region called the Karoo, and this is pretty much the start of the Great Karoo, a vast and arid countryside. But below the surface is an abundant supply of fresh water accumulated over many millennium as uh, this region was believed to be covered by ancient oceans. But I'm here to get some inspiration for some painting and uh, I'll be walking around this area. This is a, a farm in the Middleburg region of South Africa and uh, getting some scenes, doing some plein air painting and just uh, soaking up some of this fantastic atmosphere. It's wonderful clean air, strong light, but it does get pretty hot during the day as well. So you have to do all your work in the morning, early morning and late afternoon. Anyway, let's have a look at some of the countryside and get you an idea of why I find this area so compelling and uh, interesting to paint. There are beautiful vistas everywhere to see. Something has been scratching through here, probably porcupines. It's also, you can see why it is known as Big Sky Country. And I love the shapes of the bushes and the contrast between lights and darks are just fantastic. And that mountain in the distance is called the Renosterberg which means uh, rhinoceros mountain. Can you see the rhino? When I'm out in a scene like this, I'm looking for shapes and textures and light and dark contrasts and warm and cool colors. Look at the shapes within the bushes here, the light. I've chosen for my first subject was this farm gate, but I decided to paint it with the gate open and just getting straight into it in early morning about 5.30 a.m. you can see the nice long shadows and this was a real fun painting to produce. The second day I was joined with these little rabbits keeping me company and I decided to paint this cattle grid and the road leading through to some shadows in the distance. Starting off as always with the big shapes quickly putting those in and then working into the lights and you take what you get when you're painting outdoors sometimes it works out i made a second attempt at a horizontal format which i definitely did prefer now add some water to the karoo and you get beautiful green gardens like this it's quite incredible these little oases around the Karoo region and of course a garden scene had to be painted and I really enjoyed taking a cool break in the shadows to paint this and uh, another garden scene later in the day when the heat really kicks in and it gets to well over 30 degrees Celsius but it is these scenes that really motivate me and so you can see the springbuck in the distance and yeah the farmhouses behind those trees in amidst all the dry country look at the beautiful shadows that the clouds cast over the landscape and this lovely morning scene warm light 
long shadows look for the blue and violet colors in those shadows and uh, you end up with something like this that I reworked in the studio and I was very happy with that result and that's it this is the glimpse of painting in the Karoo I hope you enjoyed it and perhaps you can find some inspiration in your area as well drive out take a few days enjoy it paint the big skies and your surroundings it's a fantastic way to spend your time